Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. It means a lot. In today's video, guys, if you have a Ford Focus and you have a code P0420, guys, uh, this is uh, the code that indicates that the catalytic converter is not performing correctly, guys. We'll explain what needs to be replaced, what needs to be fixed in order to get rid of that code. Now, uh, quick introduction guys, we will have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So hopefully guys, the video will be helpful, please subscribe, like the video guys. Uh, let me show you what we will be working on and uh, how to get rid of that code. So this is the Ford Focus, this is the one with the 2.0 4 cylinder engine. If you have a different engine, let's say you have the um, 1.0 3 cylinder or the 1.6, anything like that guys. Procedure will be the same, that code is generic code P0420 uh, guys and uh, in order to fix the gut, that now guys, okay, you need to look at your engine and you need to find your exhaust and intake side. In our case the intake side is where the engine okay, gets um, uh, its air, so air filter box, intake boot, intake manifold, that's the intake side. So which means that the exhaust side most likely on a Ford Focus it's on the opposite side. And if I come back there, this is your exhaust manifold. Okay, let me just get the camera in. Okay, and you can see, guys, you have your upstream oxygen sensor. This is the oxygen sensor that detects. Okay, guys, uh, it, uh, it's going to detect uh, if you, uh, the fuel and air ratio, also known as fuel air ratio sensor or oxygen sensor. And pass that now, guys, all the way on the bottom. Okay you will have another sensor all the way down there another oxygen sensor this is the second one or known as sensor 2 or downstream what this sensor does now guys okay it tells us okay if the catalytic converter is doing its job okay it's going to detect if the catalytic converter is doing its job and how it does that okay pretty pretty simple guys it measures if the car is polluting or not and if the catalytic converter is not performing right okay that second sensor is there to tell us that and where is your catalytic converter this is it guys right here and never touch that because it will be extremely hot our car we didn't drive it for 24 hours so everything's cold but everything here will be extremely hot guys so this is your catalytic converter now there are two ways to fix that now uh, we'll share the second one which is illegal guys but if you have a race car or anything like that and the rules, uh, the rules allow it you can do it but it's illegal to drive the car that way if you guys want to fix it the correct way you will need to replace your catalytic converter we have the video on the channel you have to remove uh, the catalytic converter replace it and see where we get ours from but if you guys do not have catalytic converters let's say you have a racing car something fun track car guys and you want to get rid of that code there is a special fitting that you're going to put on the oxygen sensor that fitting will have the link in the description of the video below you put that fitting guys okay and it's going to uh, uh, place the oxygen sensor okay to be sitting about that much higher than it should be and that way you will get rid of the codes it works nine out of ten times we used it in the past on our racing cars and it works amazing so if you have that code and you want to get rid of it you have two options but if you if it's a, a car that you drive guys on public roads you have to replace your catalytic converter otherwise you can get in serious trouble guys so if you want to fix it that's how you guys do it hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you doing that kind of work please subscribe to the channel give a like and see you guys next time